hi beautiful people thanks for watching thanks for coming back and thanks for subscribing so i will be making belizean counts for this today um we went downtown into our local belizean market and ordered the conks okay belizean call it conks okay but i think america call it conk and we got some lobster and um just so you know i do we do clean your meat with vinegar my husband's grilling so i had some seasoned steak and he's going to be doing the corn and um my friend she does a cookie business and i ordered my cookies for the dessert so my conks i will be calling it conks in this video okay <laughs> my conks is soaking in vinegar and water and if you don't have that you use lemon or lime or both i normally use both if i if i have it and i'll be seasoning it with salt that's the salt that i have and i blend my onion cilantro and garlic and my belizean red ricardo i haven't been using um garlic and i have not been using black pepper because for whatever reason it is messing with me big time in my in my my sickness so just to help the strain of my food processor i'll be cutting or chopping them down a little bit smaller putting them in my food processor and blending it now um you can also boil these in order to um soften them a little bit and um in order to make the conks fritters it's your call i prefer belize and conks i don't like any other taste of any other ones but hey that's just me um there's also ceviche in the ceviche we definitely boil the conks we don't eat it raw well that's what my mom taught me to do boil the conks in order to um cook it and then chop it up or chop it up in small pieces and add the rest so now it's already blended i'm going to empty it out in my bowl and add um so it's so easier for me right now to blend my cilantro and onion versus chopping them up and I don't really want to taste that too, like bite into it. So it's best that I blend it and also, um, you know, add it in here. In this, um, if right now I'm not using any black pepper for a lot of my seasoning, guys. And I do miss it because I, I basically cook with three um, seasoning, which is salt, black pepper, and garlic. Sometimes turmeric. So I'll be putting in a little bit of... Um, baking powder so guys um if you want the exact recipe for this you could go watch it at my sister's um channel the bear pantry show uh, she has the exact measurements i um, don't cook like that because i am not a cook i just cook the way i feel and i'm adding one cup of um, organic flour to help hold it together when i am frying it now here i go with my blend and i'm putting an extra onion in there because it was um some extra to um, because I was also seasoning the rest of the other meats, not the steak, but the lobster and different things um, that we were cooking that day. We're grilling for 4th of July. So now I'm going to be pouring over my meat the blend. Like I said, normally this is cilantro, onion, and garlic. There's no garlic in here right now because of the um, the acid that I've been dealing with through the my head issue <laughs> so I have powder Ricardo I had bought just enough and I used to tell my husband I'm buying a lot of red Ricardo because hey guys if you haven't by now please take this time to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that you're first to get my videos and I told them that's the um, black pepper that I normally use but I won't be using it in this case and don't forget your water to help make it um, you know not too st stiff yeah so i um normally sorry add the garlic but in this case i won't anyway i'm just gonna be mixing it up and i noticed that i will need a little bit more liquid so a little backstory on this i used to cook this to sell you guys <laughs> yep i used to cook it to sell my mom gave me the recipe and um but i um yeah like i said if you want the exact ingredients go to my sister um youtube channel the bear pantry show and she has a recipe for it um i think it's basically the same i'll have to check it out to make sure um but um yeah so i told my husband hey i don't know if i'll ever be able to come back to belize so i'm taking a lot of powder ricardo <laughs> and i have literally after the pandemic normally we'll be there for our birthday which is july june and july um but this year we're not going due to the pandemic and due to my my illness i don't want to fly right now or go anywhere and um so i have enough i literally have like four three or four packs left but 
just in case when I went to the Bleason market I found um, some there and this is the oil that I'll be using to fry you guys so yeah um, I like this consistency right here it's nice right there not too um, liquidy and not too um, solid so when you put it in the oil it just kind of spread a little bit yeah so I went to the Belize market and I bought all of the Ricardo so hopefully that would last me enough till Red Ricardo well, okay I'll say Belize and stop Red Ricardo Red Ricardo <laughs> I bought all of it just in case um, we don't go this year I'll have enough till next year but if not I'll just find it there so this is it you guys I soak it on napkin I get rid of the excess oil it is a greasy um, snack but it's not everything you eat all the time. It's something that you kind of crave because Belize and Kongs is expensive, you guys. But we were able to do it that day. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell and come back and support. Bye-bye.